guys, it's Juliana. Um, it's been a while, but I'm here to do a haul video. Uh, my one-year-old and I went to the Goodwill outlet today, and we got four bags of goodies. Let's see. So I was going to do a haul video for you guys. It's been a, like a month and a half since I've gone. The holidays kind of ruined me. So, but I'm ready. My husband bought me a fancy new gadget that's held by his camera stand. So I don't have to use my hands to hold it. It doesn't have to lean up on anything. I can get the full image of things. Um, plus I got the new iPhone 11 for Christmas. And well, I bought the new iPhone 11 around Christmas. I got an iPod for Christmas. So I'm ready. I, I'm ready for this. It's gonna be a whole new year. So let's start. Uh, first one that I got is a Nanette Lepore. It's a size medium. It's a cool little sweater. This will be so nice because you can see the full item. This sleeve has it like rolled up, but I don't think it's necessarily supposed to be like that. But. It was actually, I was, I only had an hour and a half to do the bins this time which generally isn't enough time, but I was actually really impressed. I got a lot of really great stuff and I hit my 25 item goal so that I didn't pay too much. So just a Nike um, pullover three quarter zip windbreaker. Walk out of the camera screen. Um, it's Nike, it's like, feels new. It's a size large. trying to get more um, men's items this time because I always feel like I don't have enough but I really have a hard time like buying men's items so I usually end up getting a lot of like Nike and Adidas like sportswear which is fine those sell really well so I never have a problem selling those so this is just a plain green Adidas tee it's an on the go but it's an extra large tall which I thought was really cool so it's like has extra like length to it. I didn't know that was a thing. That's what my husband needs. So these are J brand, which is I know sometimes sold at stores like Anthropology, and these ones are like a flare bottom. Like they are, they have like a very thick like bottom hem down here. They feel like they've been washed like maybe twice. So, um, they are a size, they're called the Love Story Dark Vint, which I'm assuming means vintage, and they're size 29. And they have like the extra button closure in here. It's kind of cool. Tie, I love picking up ties. This is a polo by Ralph Lauren. Black, white polka dots. This I bought for myself. Um, I did really good though. I didn't buy very much for myself this time. These I picked up, they're LuLaRoe. Um, but you can tell when things like have been, have been washed correctly from LuLaRoe and not worn as much because they feel softer. But I have another pair of floral one size leggings. So I thought these would be fun to match with that so that it sells for more than what it resells for, which isn't very high. So I like to pair them up. This I'm probably gonna give to my son. It's a little plaid Forti Columbia Boys fleece. My son doesn't like jackets or coats or anything warm. He says he likes to be cold, but he loves his camo version of this. So I thought he'd like that. Um, this is just a plain red must have collection holiday or Hollister t-shirt, size small. Um, I opened one of the things I did this um, recently that uh, I'm excited for for this new year is I opened a separate closet. I got permission from Poshmark. They said it was okay for me to open a separate closet that's just all kids clothes because I feel like I have a lot of kids clothes 
but I don't like putting them in with my regular clothes because I'd like, I want to just run like sales all the time where everything under this price is, you know, five for $20 just so I can move things. Um, so I've, I'll be getting things that are like specifically for that closet. Um, so like this is a brand new pair of, uh, girls 12 to 24 month tights that I'm going to put in that one. Um, and I will link both of my closets down below so that you guys can check them out. Um, I'm really excited about, about Poshmark and getting back into it. It's not that I stopped doing it, but I was working full time and so I didn't have as much time to put into it. And now I do. I'm very excited. So this is a free people shirt. I like the crocheted sleeves, but... I, I don't know much about free people, but I'm pretty confident that this is an older tag. But it's still a style that's like worn, so I'm not to worry about it. I got quite a bit of Nike, which is funny because I live in Oregon and Nike headquarters is in like Beaverton area, but I live out in Sandy, so I don't always. Um, go out there but when I do usually that one I find a lot of Nike in and not quite as much as the other outlet that I go to and I found a lot of Nike at this outlet so it's just a, a black and gray Nike long sleeve tee um, size large Goodwill wanted $7.99 for it they didn't get it we'll see how it does for me um, this is a cut tag. <laughs> Anvil, I guess, is the brand. But we only wanted $3.99 for it. It's an extra large, but like I said, I need more men's stuff. I like this, so I got it. Let's see. This one is Eddie Bauer. The size large. It's a quilted black vest. Um, zips up. You know what I didn't do this time because I was so rushed? I did not check zippers on me. <laughs> Usually I'm really good about that. There's a little tightening buckle back here. This I got for my daughter because she loves dress up and I bought a bell costume for Halloween this year and I kept it. So it's a little ratty, but that's okay. She's rough on her clothes anyways, but I got this one so that we can both wear bell costumes. You guys will get pictures of that, I promise. I'm so excited. Um, these are Everlane, which is really cool because I've heard this brand um, on other people's haul videos, but I honestly, I anthropology isn't really my style, so I don't follow it, but I know that there's a lot of brands like this one that are sold through those companies. So I hear people talking about them and how they resell. I think I really need to go into an anthropology and just kind of see, but usually the, I'm not a huge fan of their style. I'm more of like a jeans and t-shirt person. So, but found Everlane black jeans. They are some sort of size. Yeah, I don't see a size. I will have to uh, figure that out and get back to you. But they're like black skinny, I think they might be crops, honestly. But they're black skinny jeans. I want to see. Um, these, I don't, these are Lucy, women's medium, black leggings. This is for the kids closet. It's Old Navy Active Go Dry, but they're like little like athletic joggers. Oh, that was super cute. Size six. These I grabbed just because I have a good, um, I have good luck selling bundles of LuLaRoe. So when I find some of their leggings that are in at the bins because I pay you know 20 cents for this um if I bundle multiple I sell them pretty well and this is a tall and curvy one so 
and it's just a simple floral pattern. People still buy them, but I, there's like less of a market. So if I feel like if I'm not selling like one of the Disney ones, if I don't sell it in a bundle, it won't sell. So um, these are dark wash Joe's jeans. I'm gonna try these on first and then they'll go to my closet if they don't fit me. But they're 27 skinny ankle jean Joe's. They're in good condition, so I grabbed them. Um, seven for all mankind. These are boot cuts, so they're an older style, but they were in good condition. I think, yeah. Sometimes I like see these. You know where like the tags were like sewn in, and I think it's something it's not, but it's just where the tag was sewn in. Okay, but this is a twenty-eight. Just a plain seven for all mankind. Medium wash. There's three things on my couch. Um, I also picked up a bra. I only pick these up if they're good brands and they look like they're in like new condition. I'm not gonna buy ones that look like they've been used a lot, but these ones um have the straps that you can make the cross straps in the back. But it's a Victoria's Secret. It's actually I can't read it because it's it's a lined demi bra and it says like the nakeds by Victoria's Secret or something. I have to look into it more, but 36C leopard print. Do, do, do. I'm sorry if I'm going kind of fast. I don't want this to be an hour long video. So I have no idea how to say this or anything about this sizing style. So I need to look it up. I want to say mage and a size one. I have no idea where this comes from, but I just thought it was cute. And I thought with like spring coming up, cute little simple dress. <laughs> this was another one that I got because of the sizing. So it's a Columbia, but it's a, a large, tall men's plaid shirt. So I've had good luck selling like the tall stuff before, but could go wanted $7.99 for it. They obviously didn't get it. These ones. I don't know what Balance Collection is. Honestly, I bought these for myself. So they're just like yoga pants. But I'm allergic to the brand. But I figured if not, then I'll keep them for myself. They're size medium. That might be too big. We'll see. Okay, so these are Mountain Hardware, women's size eight. These are Kapuris. But I, so this material, I don't know, I don't know what this is called. But I just recently got a pair of um, Columbia pants that are this material, and nylon and elastatine. I don't know. But I, um, I tried them on because I was gonna go crabbing and I wanted something that wasn't jeans, but wasn't leggings. And oh my gosh, they are the comfiest things ever. So now, like, every time I feel this, I'm like, oh, what is that? So it's, like, stretchy. It's not like a rain pant. It's like, you know, those, like, noisy sweatpants? That kind of, but for women. Okay. This is a Z by Zella. It's like a, it's a 3X, but it's like a mesh bomber athletic jacket I don't know again with the sizes I've been trying to be like conscious of like picking up men's clothing and different sizing so that people have options of things to bundle so I'm not just getting like all size small so this one is interesting it's top shop and it's a US size 4 but it has like this like lace collar and like a lace up back and the sleeves are like poofy like just old like only in like the shoulders and they're not full sleeves either so i think i'm gonna have to find a picture of it to it's like ruffled bottom it's really interesting there's a lot of detail to it but i think i'm gonna have to find a stock photo because i don't know how to photograph this this i'm kind of hoping my husband will like i got this for him but it's a GH Bass and Company, size large, just like a pullover 
sleeve actually might be too short. We'll see. Oh, wow. This I got for the kids' closet again. It's a cat and jack. No, it's the wrong season. It's for Christmas. Next year, someone will buy it. I'll hang on to it. I don't care. But it's a size 7, 8, and look. It's like a little. I love it. I'm so happy I have a girl. I love buying that girly stuff. Oh my goodness. Um, these. This is an ASOS swim. Look how cool it is, though. Like the lace up front and like the high. That was really cool. It's a size 6. I thought it was fun. Summer's coming. Swim season. Which is good because I have all these swim covers that I would really like to sell. This is another Lucy. It's, it's like a three, it's like a three-quarter zip, but like the zipper is not centered. Which bothers me a little bit. <laughs> it's a size medium. It's athletic, it's stretchy. This men's shirt again. I don't know this brand, but extra large and it's Texas Longhorns, which is why I got it. It's in good, feels like it's like new and uh, it has team name, so thought it would do good. This is Field and Stream, which can be very expensive. It's a size large, I think it's a women's. I have to look into that some more. Yeah, yeah, it says right there. Mm -hmm. Women's large. Also, this person wanted a dollar for it. Yeah, I'm getting more than a dollar for it. Um, these are for my kids' closet. There's a pair of uh, Velcro Nikes. But they're like in super clean condition for being kids' shoes. Size so three youth. But I'm excited about that. This is also for my kids' closet. Get the size six, old navy, little jean skirt. Um, Star Wars Darth Vader pom pom beanie. One size fits most, or O S F M. Yeah. Um. This is one of the American Eagle Soft and Sexy Tees. It's like the like paisley, but I love the feeling of these shirts. My neighbors have been like revving their engine. I think they're trying to get something working. Really annoying. So if you can hear that, I apologize. How cute. Kids closet, but size seven, eight. Some little girl cleared out her cute little closet. Um, I love Star Wars, so I pick up all the Star Wars things. It's a 2XL tall. I'm finding all the talls today, but it's Star Wars. I had to. Plus, like I said, need more men's clothes. This is also for my daughter. She also walked out with like a, not walked out, we bought them, but little like plastic. Oh, this is a 5T that someone made smaller for their kid. Um, little like plastic dress up shoes, high heels. She will find some of those and she loves them. She's obsessed with those right now. So, this is actually for me. I love camera. This one I got because it's, um, it's a Hallmark holiday traditions tie. And I know Christmas just ended, but I have another one and by the same brand, and so I thought pairing them up would be better again. I'm paying like nothing for this, like five cents. So I might as well get it and add it to another bundle, make it worth more. I already had the other item, so this is for my son. He'll have to grow into it, but he loves Spider-Man right now. J7. Let's see. This one, Columbia. Size so small, so it's a men's quarter zip sweater. I don't know what you call the sweater. It's nice, it's super thick. This is a loft, but 
look at this beautiful like lightweight this would be perfect for spring like white and like a cobalt blue like paisley pattern Google wanted eight dollars for it it's so cute i love it honestly like loft stuff doesn't sell very well but they're so cute I always end up bun making like loft bundles because I find them all the time and they're really cute. And they're decent quality for what they are. Like, I mean, it's no Walmart brand. <laughs> I don't know this brand either. This is Madison Lily. Goodwill wanted eight bucks for this. It's, a, it's just a sweater, but like the back has this fun little, I think it's the back. Yeah, it's the back tags right there, but... I just thought it was cute. A little bit different than just a regular sweater. This is, I got it because it's new with tags. Collective concepts designed ex exclusively for Stitch Fix. Okay, come on. Hold on, you can see it, I promise. Sorry guys, maybe I should have done this before. Okay, you're not going to see it. I lied. I promised you and then it was a lie. I'm not... I didn't lie. Let's see? It's an extra large tank top. It's actually kind of cute though. I think it's cute. So, new with tags. I like having new with tag stuff. This is um, Forever 21. But, and it's a medium, but I only grabbed it because, like, someone's going to want this for a festival, for Halloween next year. I don't know. But someone's going to want this. Even though it's Forever 21. Like, it's like that cool, like, it's like a faux suede fabric. It's so cool. This is for my daughter. It's sparkly. She said, it's sparkly for me. So he said yes. At the bins. Yeah. Um, this is little 18 month old jean jacket. This is from my kid closet. So cute. Mm -hmm. More Star Wars. Darth Vader, come to the dark side. It's a size large and it's like that athletic y material. It's really cool. My husband might steal it. This, I didn't know about this brand because I'm not very brand savvy. I'm learning. We're all learning, right? So this is one of those Ralph Lauren strands, but this is a denim and supply and I actually just sold one that was given to me by a family member. Um, I just sold one today, actually like 20 minutes ago. And, um, this is another denim and supply sweater and it has like this cool like fringe. It's like long and super thick knit. And it's like um, reds and browns. There's even like some blues in there. It's super pretty. It's this denim and supply by Ralph Lauren. This is a small, it's so heavy. It's, it, it's heavy. It's gorgeous though. This one is Madewell sweater, black and white. It needs a pillar taken to it in a couple of spots. I think that's why no one else, actually it needs a pillar pretty badly, but I think that's probably why it was still there. But it's super nice, it's good quality, size large, super cute. Wrong season, but whatever. These I found right as I was leaving. They're extra small. Um, there's some loose thread right here. I'll clean that up. But they're Nike like dry fit leggings. I think they're an older style. But they're super cute. Like it. Um, I didn't get a chance to look up this brand. I don't know what it is. Sonic Summers by Catherine something, but it looks like it's just like a fitted like um, tank top. It's like it has like this scalloping right here. Just 
just want to make sure I have the right weight. So these are Etro. They're made in Italy. They say 56L. I have to figure out what that means, but they're like corduroy, like men's corduroy pants. They look like really high quality. I don't, I've heard the brand. I don't know anything about it. So I'm gonna have to do my research. But yeah, last item, here we go. No, oh, I would leave something that's for my son for last. Wild, it's been wild. Thanks for watching guys. Um, I hope you liked our haul. My kids and I are hoping to do one once every week, every other week from now on. So we'll see you hopefully sooner rather than later. Bye guys.